When I was 10 years old, I always saved up my little bits of pocket money and I would spend time in this second-hand bookshop. And I found a little book about this size and I just had enough money to buy it. And it was called Tarzan of the Apes. I decided I know what I want to do when I grow up. I'm going to go to Africa. I'm going to live with animals and I'm going to write books about them. That was my dream. And everybody laughed at me except my mother. And she said to me, Jane, if you really want something, you're going to have to work very hard. You're going to have to take advantage of opportunity and never give up. If you have a dream of something you want to do when you grow up and people laugh at you, don't listen to them and never give up. One chimpanzee, David Greybeard, who one special day showed me that chimpanzees can use objects as tools. So I saw his hand reach out, break off a piece of grass, a stem, push it down into a termite mound, leave it for a moment, carefully pull it out, and all the soldier termites were biting on with their, with their jaws, with their mandibles, and he picked them off with his lips and crunched them up. At that time, scientists believed only human beings could use and make tools. And so when I saw David Greybeard and then all his friends using and making tools, it was a very exciting time. Mr. H is my, my symbol for the indomitable human spirit. Mr. H was given to me 29 years ago by a man who went blind. He was in the US Marines, very brave. He was with the helicopters and he went completely blind. And for some peculiar reason, he decided he wanted to become a magician. Uh, imagine a blind man being a magician. Everybody said, well, Gary, his name's Gary Horn. Gary, you can't be a good magician if you're blind. And he said, well, I can try. And if he was standing here, you would not know he's blind. Don't give up, there's always some way forward. Do any of you ever think about what's happening in the world and how we are harming nature so much? Does anybody think about that? Roots and Shoots is about hope. And there is hope. You're the hope. You're my hope. Everywhere I go in the world, I find young people like you wanting to tell Dr. Jane about what they've been doing. So if I come back here in a year, you'll be able to tell me what you've been doing to make this a better world.